Welcome back guys, it's been a while. Um, yeah, bit of progress and quite a lot happened I suppose since the last, I'm not even 100% sure where we were, uh, how far I've got on the last video without we'll sort of re-looking at it again. But anyway, um, okay, engine in now, engine finished fitting and spacers and positioning. By widening the frame to put the swinging arm in, it gives you a little bit of left and right with the engine, just do your final chain alignments, and it's absolutely, uh... I've just got my cup of tea here, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, right. So where do we get to? What we got to? Right, okay, this, I don't know where it's going to go yet, so forgive this for flapping about, I don't know where it's going, it's going to clip up somewhere inside here or something, I don't know. So... I'll just zoom in on in there and I don't know if you can see that properly that's like the uh, suspension so what we've got with that that has to move up and down it basically bolts it just fastens to this underneath under there okay fastens onto that comes round through there and it has the two mounting points for the Ducati suspension unit and push rod uh, I think this was in in the last video, but I've got a different mounting point up here for it. So what I've done up here is I've changed this. I've got a, a press steel plate with anchoring to the top of the frame here and then down onto the side of the... And this piece put in. I'm not sure that was in on the last video. Same both sides. So, yeah, the way that works, obviously there's bearings in there. Same size as its front wheel bearings. When the, when the swinging arm is tightened up... Obviously the spaces in between are locked and the swinging arm moves on its bearings. So with that, I needed this bit here being bolted underneath the swinging arm. I needed this bit here to also move. So it's a little carry with bearings in there as well. So essentially it can move up and down on them bearings when it's all tight. So there we go, that's that. Um, the rocker is there. As you can see, Ducati rocker there. Uh, and yeah, it's all in tightened up. And absolutely 100% um, when we look down the bike you know it looks uh, so what right obviously I've had stuff powder coated um, now SW powder coat at Brig I'm gonna give him a shout out to this because he's done a fantastic job on it SW powder coat Google him anywhere near us use him he's really really you know fairly priced and does a brilliant job that wheel was awful obviously i've got the front wheel which is over there next to my lad's cart um the front wheel's in there just hiding away in that tire there with some new discs you can't see it but it's in there anyway so what we got how far we got um stuff getting finalized bolted in uh, I've got the final two spacers to do on th off the bottom engine mounting bolt, but as you can see, it's uh, the engine's in now, and really, really quite happy with it. Actually, you know, really quite happy with it. So there's the the other side on the mounting for uh, for the shocker, the rocker. It all goes in really well. It kind of, well, as as far as I'm concerned, it looks like it grew there, and it looks like it should be there. Um, so yeah, it's got a bit better suspension than the original Shocker, which I do have, if anybody wants one. Remember, this bike was only a 16,000 mile bike. The Shocker's like new off this. So anyone wants a Shocker, give me a shout. Or somebody who did mention it, but I can't remember his name anyway. So, never mind. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. So we have wheeling. Just loosely bolted yet. So, uh, but yeah, looking down it, everything looks, you know, so... We're making good progress now. Um, SW powder coat as well at Brig, Cerakote. So I want a just different, you know, this is obviously the RC36 engine. He's powder coated the cam boxes for me and he's Cerakoted the, uh, I just saw that some Ducati stuff he'd done and it looked mint. So I just said, hey, look, I want my, my covers doing the same. My, um, you know, the extreme outer covers doing. So, so what's next? Um, what is next? Okay, I suppose without scratching frame where that's hanging about, I need to have a piece of aluminium sheet in here. I don't know, three or four or five mil thick maybe in there. 
down to around here obviously chain room don't want to interfere with it and we're in there we've got a mount um, basically all our all our electrics uh, we've got to put in um, obviously voltage reg re rectifier etc flash units all this sort of stuff try and keep it in my little water bottle that's just come out of the ultrasonic tank obviously sits there just so that's back as it was um, new tank mounting we've got a new tank mounting on there and um what's what's next what what else is it to tell you this a lot of stuff just sort of mocked up i've got to i've got to tighten up and fits and and fasten and this is a bit of a headache um because down at the running at the side of the swinging arm in here where the original lugs welded on it is pretty tight but it's not but it's where that little lug is down about there that the front of the um, so I put a counter sink in there as you can see just seeing if I could get around it by doing it that way I may even have to make a new chain guard for it because it, it does tend to rub up the side of the frame here so a bit of a headache not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it yet but I'm sure after everything we've done it should be uh, should be plain sailing well not plain sailing but you know what I mean it should be easy compared to what we've already done so um yeah with the frame I moved the lugs off the frame here they were on the outer and I um I've moved them in obviously to, so the bellow pan obviously still fits radiator mountings because the frame's been widened radiator mountings have had to be just moved across a little bit to still maintain radiator as before rear cam cover is now on the front so that's now on the front because of I needed to swap them round the same head so you know it can be done but I needed the clearance there for that rocker so um, you know it all started out as a bit of an experiment and hey do you know what the more I do it the more I'm liking it so the more I can't crack on I'm gonna do it another swinging arm down there if uh, anyone wants to know or I don't know any heads up on how you do it or what or what I did anyway so just message me drop me a message carbs on there just wanted a bit of work ultrasonic tank that kind of thing so um another set of carbs there i think they're bigger i think they're bigger 750 carbs then than those i don't know somebody able to tell us troubles with these they've had they've been bent really the little bell mouths have been bent on them so hey yeah so there we go i'm really uh really pleased with its progress really pleased with its progress you know so um if i get let me get the tank what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put the camera on the wheel for a second while i put the tank on just bear with me two seconds while i get the tank let two so i've got the petrol in there no flaky rust crap in this tank even though it don't look so good on the outside it's actually a really good tank but they are rocking horse poo aren't they so pick my camera up again so there's the tank on so there's the tank on obviously i've got from i've got my yokes built uh with the stem took the stem out of the original yokes and the stem out of the VFR 750 yokes and obviously put the stem out of here into the 750 yokes. So now I'm running some VFR 750 forks. Front wheel, obviously, as we said, that's in there. That's been powder coated and 